Well, Friday is Hillary Clinton's last day as U.S. Secretary of State. Over the past four years, she's been credited with reshaping America's image overseas. She's one of the most recognized and respected women in the world. After four years as Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton leaves the job with close to 70% approval ratings. I am going to miss it. I'm going to miss the people I worked with here. I'm going to miss uh, representing my country uh, when that blue and white plane with the United States of America lands. I'm going to miss making the progress that we made over the last four years in restoring American leadership and solving problems and setting out long-term challenges. It's very exciting and very moving. The biggest of all, the Arab revolutions. Clinton and the Obama administration had to find their way in the new Arab world. In Asia, Clinton helped build new alliances. Burma came into the fold. It all took endless meetings with world leaders. I think she has established relationships with leaders of some well over a hundred nations uh, and so that she can pick up the phone at any time. There have been crises that have been diffused thanks to the relationships that she has. They know that she speaks for the American people and the President of the United States. And there have been numerous occasions where she has turned what could have been a looming crisis into a situation which was calmed. For four years, Hillary Clinton crisscrossed the globe. She visited 112 countries, spent 2,000 hours on a plane, and traveled close to 1 million miles. That's almost 40 times around the world. I did enjoy it. I, I enjoyed the challenge of travel, uh, the uh, unique experiences that we had all over the world. Uh, I'm also lucky I can sleep on planes and did so regularly. But her critics say she has little to show for her hard work. The reset with Russia has malfunctioned, hindering any solution to the violence in Syria. And Mideast peace is nowhere to be seen. When Clinton became Secretary of State, the U.S. was engaged in two wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now U.S. troops are out of Iraq. The Afghanistan pullback has begun. But she says if there is an Obama-Clinton doctrine, a way to approach world issues, it's about building alliances and finding partners. We have to be smart about how we use our power, not because we have less of it. Indeed, the might of our military, the size of our economy, the influence of our diplomacy, and the creative energy of our people remain unrivaled. No, it's because as the world has changed, so too have the levers of power that can most effectively shape international affairs. And from the woman who's tipped to run for president in 2016, an indication of where she may focus her efforts in the interim. If women and girls everywhere were treated as equal to men in rights, dignity and opportunity, we would see political and economic progress everywhere. In 2009, Clinton had just missed a chance for the presidency, losing out to Barack Obama. Since then, she's visited a record 112 countries as America's face of foreign affairs. But there are some who question what she achieved, despite all the toing and froing. While she's perceived to have done a great job, her approval ratings are among the highest for any U.S. politician right now of either party. At the same time, very few people can point to very concrete accomplishments that she's had in the job. To a certain extent, that reflects what is the job of Secretary of State in this day and age. Now Clinton says she wants to concentrate on subjects that she cares deeply about, like, among other things, women's issues. The man who'll take over is Senator John Kerry. The Senate confirmed him as the new Secretary of State earlier this week.